Being a caregiver is the best job in the world, and I'm here to show you why. In this video, I'm going to show you how I start and plant uh, starters in my tower garden. Uh, while this video uh, doesn't exactly correlate to being a caregiver, this is a, one of the great ways I'm able to help uh, feed healthy food to the person I care for. So I wanted to include this as part of uh, my being a caregiver videos. So you start by taking the seedling, the seeds that you uh, want to plant. You're going to plant them in the rock wool cubes that you have moistened uh, so that they are wet and kind of soggy. You're going to plant, uh, depending on the size of your seeds that you are using, uh, for small seeds, you're going to use 6 to uh, 10 seeds in every hole. Uh, for larger ones, you're going to use 4 to 8, kind of just depending on the size of your seeds. So you're going to put those in the little openings of the rock wool. And uh, you don't have to worry too much about spreading them out because you're going to move them to the, the tower garden before they overrun each other. For my plantings this time, I chose to primarily stick with lettuces. Uh, so I'm doing several different types of lettuce, um, some uh, bitter greens that you can put with your salads, uh, some kale, basil, uh, kind of some leafy greens like that. So I've chosen to uh, stick with lettuces for this round. Once you've planted the seeds, you're going to cover each one with vermiculite uh, over the top of each seed. Make sure that you break up any large chunks that you see. Uh, if not, it can cause the seedlings to have a hard time growing up through it or, or it kind of starts to grow around it and push out the vermiculite. So just make sure that you break it up into littler pieces so it's not big, huge chunks. you're going to fill each of the little holes with water make sure it's watered well and you're also going to fill the tray with about a quarter inch of water at the bottom and the rock wool will soak it up okay here's our sprouts they're looking good this is about two three days in i think so yeah they're doing great our seedlings are looking really good. They need to be about two inches tall before you can transplant them into the tower. Plus they need to have roots uh, protruding from the bottom of the core here. So we are getting close. All right, it looks like we are ready to plant. So we will take these little doodads and they go in the pockets and kind of just snap in. It takes a, there we go. And then we will uh, cut apart the starters at the at the lines there and plant them. So they are all planted now, and you can hear the rain coming down. So there you go, they're all planted. Uh, the ones that are the microgreens, those don't, those go up top and are a little smaller. Uh, and then everything else is all planted in the black cups. And there you go. So that's uh, sprouting and planting in your tar garden. <laughs> 